Care to visit Paradise, Miss Dios? Paradise? Does the boat go to Elysium? Oh, to Corfu Island. A land with no work and all play. A vacation destination. Vacation? What's that? Oh, a state of mind where your only responsibility is to get much needed rest. It's a new concept. It does sound tempting. There are no clearer waters than off the coast of Corfu. How about soldiers? Criminals? People. That's who I really need a break from. <laughs> if there are, they're too busy relaxing. It's just what I need. Vacation. For a couple of days, at least. Ah, then step aboard! Your next destination, Bliss. Cassandra, what are you doing out there? What does it look like? I'm on vacation. Ah, you've been in the sun too long. You're more bronze than an urn. Come down here. Ah, nonsense. I'm taking in the air. Much needed rest. Okay, bye. What if I told you a... Uh, a mythical treasure awaits, huh? What say you then? Nothing I haven't heard before. Well, you, but an expert like you will find it in no time. The address the needs a tune-up, and I could use the drachmi. <laughs> Help an old friend. Uh, right. For all time's sake. All right, all right. Just... Just keep your heat on. on. Uh, Not as quick on her feet anymore, is she? <laughs> hey! <laughs> ah. <clears throat> What's all this about treasure? Only the most exciting thing to happen to you in ages! I've had enough excitement for a lifetime. This was the last place we thought to look for you on Corfu. What have you been doing all on your own? Nothing, dear Herodotus. And I've had the time of my life. Napping in the day, stargazing at night, and as much wine as I can swallow. That's quite unlike you. The old Cassandra, maybe. But the new Cassandra has never felt better. Not retiring, are you? If only that were an option. No more trouble, no more fighting. I wonder if that's even possible. I've never seen you with a face so sour. Come on now. Everybody loves treasure. I'm not really in the mood. I'm a little... preoccupied. Not in the mood? Now you're definitely not acting like yourself. And what's so bad about that? I'm fine. Really, I just... Needed to be alone for a while. To think about what's become of my life and to get away from everyone. No offense. None taken. <laughs> it's true. The burdens you've carried have been heavy. If anyone can shoulder them, it's Cassandra. You just need a little distraction from the weight. Say you'll do it. Come on the hunt for the Adrestia. For me. All right, we'll hunt for treasure to put some drachmi in your pocket. That's our mystios! <laughs> oh, the loot will be enough for a whole new ship! <clears throat> Legends say there are delicate linens woven by goddesses. Ancient scrolls, one-of-a-kind wares from a far-off land! <laughs> Let's not get too carried away, Barnabas. Oh, right. I won't spoil any surprises. 
You'll find clues around the island that will lead to treasures beyond imagination. If it's so legendary, I'm surprised no one's found it yet. They've tried for hundreds of years! Well, less than that, but no one has discovered it. Not until we do today. <sighs> we'll see. The only thing this island has a lot of is sand and pirates. I'll go get my gear. <sighs> I was hoping to not need these for a while. Ugh. Time to get back, back in shape. The very intriguing, riveting clues are waiting for you. Barnabas, careful. What? Too much? Get it away from me! <clears throat> Wait. Who wrote this? Messy, like it was scrawled on a bobbing ship. Just like the hand of Farnavas. Legendary treasure, eh? Seems more like Varnavas and Herodotos thought I was on vacation too long. Uh, what did you find there, Let's make this a good fight for our audience, shall we? Not a bad performance. Have you all acted before? We know you know. Uh, what do I know? The treasure. Don't lie. You were sniffing around. Yes. That's what people do when they're on treasure hunts. We'll find it first. Mark my words. I'm guessing that wasn't a play fight. There's no playing when those kinds of riches are at stake. But those clues were written by Herodotus and Varnavas, weren't they? What clues? What? What? How do you know about the letter of the treasure hunter? Wait. Let's start over. There is very real treasure on Corfu Island, isn't there? Don't matter. Not when you'll never see it. You'll be locked in there for the rest of your miserable days. We'll see about that. Ugh! with you. Herodotus can read this. You're alive! I suppose now you'll tell me your treasure hunt wasn't real. Barnabas thought you needed some more adventure in your life. I know you. You're just like me. You live to see the next port, so to speak. I thought it'd do you some good to feel needed again. Good intention or not, warn me when you're going to get me in trouble next time. I'm on Corfu to avoid all that. <laughs> right. <clears throat> A few of her clues still remain on the island if you want to find them. To humor us. We put a lot of work into those. Hope a pirate doesn't find them first. Speaking of clues, real clues, I found this letter. Ah. 
This is written in an ancient Dorian dialect. Uh, I can read parts, but it's not spoken. And most of its stories have died with its speakers. Remarkable. What does it mean? I don't exactly know, but it alludes to a story I heard once. It told of a sunken key in a temple off the coast of Corfu, near a small island. Aha! Oh, keys always unlock something. Our hunt isn't over yet. Thank the gods. A sunken key. That doesn't narrow it down when you're surrounded by water. You were a little reluctant at first, eh? Huh? <laughs> but now, this is for real. The three of us will make history! It's not exactly the break I had in mind. I came here to get away from everything, remember? But? But we're involved now, whether I like it or not. Oh, that's the spirit! <sighs> Where to? I believe an old colleague of mine, a professor, lives on the island. He may be able to translate the letter's true meaning. I'll see what he knows in Korkirapolis. I'll meet you there. Barnavas, you take him. I'm sure the pirates will be looking for that letter. Affirmative! Then I'll head to the port. Oh, you wouldn't believe the triremes built out of Corfu! So this is turning into Varnavas' vacation, is it? Must be near here. This is it. Now to meet Irodotos at the professor's house. Malaka. What happened here? Where are they? Maybe I can find something useful. A rusted sword. Only a pirate would use a blade like this. They must have attacked them here. Looks like they were dragged north of the city. This must be the place. I'll check the warehouse. Malaka, they're not here. But there sure is a lot of marble. Maybe the pirates smuggle it out of the quarry. It's worth a try. The quarry. I hope I find them here. No, it can't be. Is that Irodotos? Behind you! You want your friend to live? Hand it over! I don't know what you're talking about. He's a storyteller, Mistios. He squealed like a hog. I want that key. You have plenty of bounty around the island. Why this treasure? Bah! <laughs> Some treasure hunter you are. The most famous of all treasure hunters plundered the most valuable goods known to mortal man and hid them on Corfu. His name was lost to time, but his tale survived. He hid it away for the day his son would become a hunter like him and find the clues he left behind. But the fool died as only fools do, and the treasure turned to legend until now. The key, or he dies. That's the bargain. Take it. No, you don't know what the treasure contains. <laughs> Have at them, boys.
keep her. Do you hear me? Alethia? Is that you? We need to talk. Vardavas! How did you find us? It's a little morbid, but I followed the trail of bodies and it brought me here. <laughs> I tried to follow the pirates who took Irodotos, but I, I couldn't quite keep up. Are you both all right? Never mind that. Did you see that star shoot across the island? A sign from the gods, no doubt! Not a star, Barnabas. An artifact. The letter spoke of a gold object among the treasure, so powerful, it turns men into their darkest fears. Or into monsters, literally and metaphorically. I've fought them myself. Surely you're joking. I've dealt with these artifacts before. They're as dangerous as the letter said. What mythical power! Who knows what this one's capable of? It breaks spears, for one thing. Are you sure? It looks like the same spear of Leonidas to me. Trust me, something's... off. I'm sure it's fine. Allow me to fix it. I know ships aren't spears, but sea captains are good handy men. <clears throat> you don't know anything about spears, let alone this spear. It's special. I meant no harm by it. I... I... I just feel it is, you know... my fault. Don't. I'll go see what can be done, and I'll find you two later. Good. Why don't we go see those waterfalls you were telling me about, Barnabas? Ah, yes! I have not yet paid my respects to Asopos. He's god of the river here, and won't be pleased with all our hubbub. Stay safe. No more pirates. Keeper. Where do I go? The tomb of Phaeax, hidden in ruins. Come alone. Alicia? You found me, Keeper. Why all the secrecy? A precaution. Mortal eyes can't see what I have to show you. Well, before you do... I don't know what happened. I went to take an artifact like I've done before, and... Can you fix it? Unfortunately, I cannot. There must be a way. My grandfather's spear... Is most likely useless. The spear of Leonidas was overwhelmed by the Isu energies it held. Some force in the artifact must have pushed it to its limits. So it's gone? After all it's done for me? I'm afraid so. But your powers are not limited to the spear. Your oath as keeper of the staff makes your destiny much more complex. Let me show you. What am I looking at, exactly? The world. The planet Earth where you live. And on it are all its people. Good and bad. Innocent and knowing. Peaceful and violent. These are the places where you will find the world's Isu artifacts. They lie hidden, for now. There's more of them? Who put them there? They aren't there without reason. But we aren't always wise to the why and who. They serve a mysterious purpose. What are you saying? There is a task that lies ahead for the Keeper of the Staff, if you are willing to take it. A task that will take the rest of your mortal life. Undisturbed, the artifacts are no threat, but if found by the wrong kind, human life may be destroyed. So, my spear has no power, and I have to leave the world I know to find more of the things that took it away? Things that turned people to monsters? Yes, to stop more monsters from existing. You're asking for way too much. Do you know how tired I am? Every day exhausts me. Show me no more. I only show you to prepare you for a potential destiny. You know what can happen if the artifacts find their way to mortal hands. Look, I came to you to have my spear fixed. If you can't do that, then I'm leaving. 
You know their power, Keeper. Their potential. Humanity does not. I didn't ask for this! Maybe I don't want to live forever. Don't I get a say in my own fate? Forget you, and forget the artifacts. I'm leaving. Consider what I've said. Cassandra, we have a problem. Where's Varnavas? He took off alone to find the object that broke your spear. What? Has he gone mad? I tried to explain to him it would be fruitless, but he wouldn't listen. He thought finding it was the answer. You should have stopped him. Do you understand what that thing can do? He wanted to help. So he does that, instead of staying out of trouble? I have to find it before Varnavas does. Malaka! The artifact definitely landed here, but no sign of Varnavas. Blood. Let's hope Varnavas isn't hurt. Blood leads this way. Whoever's wounded may be in that cave. So, you were the wounded one. Hmm. If they're regrouping at the village, that's where I'm headed next. Who here can tell me what happened? A man was here. He tore up our farm. Not one man. Ten. Twenty. One at a time. What did he look like? He was a one-eyed madman. Nothing he touched was safe. He burned my crops. No! He was over there, destroying my stall! He was everywhere! All right. Cassandra, I believe it's true. Vanavas found the artifact. If the letter was right, this object has the power to corrupt its holder beyond recognition. It is true. I've looked into the eyes of the monsters they make. The people inside won't come back. They can't come back. And the artifact? How could we possibly take it away from the very beast it's created? I don't know. There has to be some way. But if he's too far gone... I can't think that far ahead. Not yet. What can we do? I have to find Varnavas before it's too late. But the pirates are after him. Soldiers would kill him for the damage he's caused. I have to try. I won't let it take him. Follow his chaos. It seems like he headed towards Cassiope. Hurry! Oh, I saw him run to the temple. The man everyone's looking for. I can't believe this mess is because of Arnavas. In his right mind or not. Great and powerful Zeus, I am not well. Call your son Apollo. Cure me of this madness. I, I will do anything. Barnavas. Cassandra. Oh, Cassandra, you have to help me. Something's very wrong. I know, Barnavas, I know. You have to give me the artifact. I'm scared. I know you are. Just... Hand it over, 
All right? But... It's causing you to act this way. If you give me the artifact, everything will be okay. But it protects me! It's the only thing that keeps me safe! I know you're still in there. Can't you see what it's doing to you? With this, I don't have to be afraid anymore! I've been a weakling and a coward, and now I'm as powerful as a god! The real you would never say that. Give it to me! It is mine! No matter. I know your weakness lies not in your brawn, but your heart. No, please. Do not kill me. I surrender. Please. It's not the real you. They're not real. They're not real. You once saved me. Remember, Cassandra? That's when our journey began. Don't end it now. Stop it! I have to weaken it. I have to keep going. Oh, gods. Let me not be killed. Let Cassandra spare me. Forgive me, Barnavas. I'm... I'm so weak. Please, don't hurt me. I won't hurt you. Just give me the artifact. Help me, please. Who am I? What's become of me? You're Varnavas, my friend. If you keep it, you'll be someone else forever. You are no friend. You are going to leave me as soon as you have it. I will not let fear take me. Don't make me do this. That is precisely what I will make you do. Unless you are the one who is afraid. That's going to leave a mark. Oh, no question. <laughs> Did it hurt you? Uh, it got me all right, but I won't lose it. <laughs> Thank the gods. Whoever heard of a man with one arm and one eye? <laughs> uh, though I am slightly embarrassed, I really thought I was on to something there. <laughs> what were you thinking going after the artifact? How could you be so stupid? Who cares about your arm when you could have died? At least my intentions were good. You have no idea what almost happened. I almost killed you. Oh, don't worry. I'm as sturdy as a military ship. Listen to me. I'm immortal. Get it? You are not. You make mistakes, and you die. Gone. And you leave everyone else to deal with it. Immortal? Truly immortal? Yes. Immortal. Surprise. <laughs> I knew you had the God's touch! Everyone I love. I have to leave behind. And I almost had to leave you. Forever. Cassandra, it is the mortal way. We all go when the gods say so. And I eagerly await an afterlife of calm seas and bottomless crab cakes. It's not funny. Maybe not. But 
Did we ever have fun today? That's what matters, eh? We don't know how long we have the present, but it's a gift as good as gold. Gold? You did take me on a treasure hunt after all. And all I got was a busted arm. <laughs> Let's get you patched up. Keeper, see for yourself. You are a protector of men, an intermediary of our world and theirs. Your journey will take you to lands of kings, queens, and conquerors, over water and through fire, into revolution and rebellion. But your presence will mean peace, Keeper. Take up this task, for them and for yourself. You can't say I wasn't successful in getting Cassandra out of her funk. Out of my funk, but into a lot more trouble. Oops! <laughs> Did I already apologize for that? <laughs> Coming to Corfu, I had no inkling that we would get caught up in a tale of legendary treasure. They say life gets dull without surprises. Now that's a reason to cheers! And to you, Icaros. Yes. We all have but one life to lead. We have to do the most with it. One life? Speak for yourself. You're right, Barnabas. Heroes like Cassandra will live on in the stories and legends of their triumphs. They live forever. Listen. I want you two to know... I'll be leaving soon. To travel across waters I've never dreamed of crossing. And I don't know when I'll be back. You're leaving? Again? Where? Why? I'll go wherever I needed in the world. I can't run from my responsibilities. Someone... I mean... Something... ...tells me my journey is not over yet. We couldn't possibly keep you for ourselves. Though you'll be everywhere in my writings, that's for certain. I'm honored. Maybe you could give me one of your manuscripts, Hirovodos. I'm sure even those from far-off lands would love to read it. <laughs> Don't trouble yourself. These lands will do for now. But, if you're serious, a storyteller is always prepared. Take it, but feel no need to share it. It's for you. I have something for you, too. No. The spear! You knew what it was the moment you met me. But, I've outgrown it. It's yours now. Careful. It's still sharp. I'll cherish it forever. Well, though I'm not one to refuse a gift, the, the gift of friendship is enough for me. You only want friendship? Eh, I guess I'll need to find another second in command for my trip. Me? Traveling the world? With you? If you'll have me as your captain. I don't know how much longer these old bones can hoist a sail. But I'll go as far as I can. The Adrestia is yours. What will be your first stop, Cassandra? I don't know. What I do know is that I need a new weapon. Egypt has always fascinated me. Ah, one of my favorite places. Let me tell you one of my best stories.
Everyone will read your words, Irovatos. 